guys, since you're up there together, uh, I guess I'd like to ask Bam uh, when he realized this had to be a night where he had to sort of, Bam, you had to sort of take charge a little bit. And PJ, for you to answer then after that, just what's it like to see a guy like Bam seize a moment when that kind of moment is needed? Bam. Uh, well, in the previous game, as everybody know, they beat us like we stole something. Um, <clears throat> I mean, that, that, that should wake anybody up. Um, you know, getting beat like that at home, um, you know, from from my point of view, that's, you know, that that, that says it all. Um, regardless, we need Bam to, to be aggressive and, uh, you know, make plays for itself and for everybody else. Um, the way our team's built, um, <clears throat> He triggers the most probably out of everybody. Um, and his versatility just opens everything up for everybody. Um, you know, you got to tag. You got to be there when he gets, you know, the roles, um, you know, offensive rebounding. Like, he, he's such a force uh, in his versatility that, you know, people got to be there. And then it helps open the threes up, be able to get in the pocket, pick and rolls, uh, all that stuff. So it's, it's essential for him to um, – get going and it was good to see him get going early because I knew uh you know it'd be a long night. Bam, was anything changed in the offense tonight in terms of play calls that helped you get going or did you just take this upon yourself? Nah. Uh same old play calls. Uh you know just different mentality. Like I said, they they beat us like we stole something in game two. Um, so, I mean, that, that woke a fire up in, in all of us. Sam, I know you're good at reading the game and knowing when to be aggressive offensively, but was there anyone in your life, in your ear, close to you the last couple of days encouraging you to take a more aggressive offensive approach? Uh, no, nah, you know, my camp kind of leaves me, leaves me alone. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, you, you dees the, you know, the, the biggest person I can say, uh, you know, he just he, he can impact the game so much without even being on the court. Um, you know, he'll he'll do it for any of us. And so I definitely UD. PJ coach uh, joked that he can't not play you and that if you even see him talking to the trainers about you, yeah, like you shoot him a glare. How hard was it to get out there? We see the way you walk in and out of other places and how meaningful are these moments that no matter what it takes, you want to be there. Well, I, I'm thankful to have a, a, a teammate like, like PJ, you know, he's, he's one of those guys where <clears throat> You'll have to cart him off the court for him to not play. And, uh, you know, I appreciate that. My whole team does and the organization does. Thanks, man. Um, <laughs> um, no, nah, you you play enough uh, on bad teams where you start making vacations in December and January. Uh, you know, for my 16 years, uh, a lot of the early ones was like that. So um, to be fortunate enough to be back to back years in East Coast Finals, to play in the playoffs every year, to get far, this doesn't happen. And you never know when you're going to get back here. So you're going to do everything you can to be there for your team. Um, you know, I told guys that I didn't know what I had, but I was going to give them everything I did have. And, and that's it. That's, there's no. Uh, regrets. There's no nothing. Leave it all out there um, and try to get the win. And you know, I love the energy we came with. Uh, everybody stepped on the court, came and gave everything they had. And that, and we've been doing that all year. So um, that's just a part of our, our culture. Your depth obviously showed even losing Jimmy. What, I guess, P PJ, for you, what, what did Vic provide in the second half? Obviously, four steals and a lot of other good stuff. Yeah, Vic, uh, it's usually his offense. Everybody, you know, he comes in and be a spark, uh, but his lateral slides and quickness and his hands, it was unbelievable. I told him tonight that was some of the best lateral foot speed I've seen anybody have. Because uh, Jalen Brown, is he gets going, especially right 
but he's tough to get back in front of and for Vic to square him up. Um, it's unreal. You know, he gave us a spark and we talked about it half, knowing that he was about to start the half and play and to not play at all and then step in and do what he did in the second half. That level of professionalism is, is not, you know, few and far in between. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Clouds, my people. I will right, we'll take one from Greece, uh, Cristo Saltas, SDNA Greece. Go ahead. Hey, hey guys, congratulations Tom. on the win. This is Tony. Uh, Bam, question for you. You set the tone as a team in the first from the first minute of the game. You respond after a Celtics run in the fourth quarter. That win and the way that you won tonight, what how big was that mentally wise for you for the rest of the series? I mean, <clears throat> mentally wise, it's uh uh, I feel like everybody walked into this arena, you know, locked in from the from the jump. Uh, like I said earlier, they they beat us like they like we stole something earlier. Uh, so you know, just having that bounce back mentality and being able to execute and finish the game, I feel like that's a uh, it's a plus for us. Thanks.